Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the sixth anniversary player survey has officially dropped, and this of course is a good chance for us to let Bandai slash Akatsuki know exactly how we felt about the anniversary celebration, and potentially give them some ideas for how to improve in the future. Now, usually these surveys don't take more than five to 10 minutes to complete, and we do get seven free Dragonstones out of it, so I recommend that you guys also go through the survey with me as you're watching this video. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. Just scroll down a little bit and hit that sixth anniversary player survey link, which for some reason I cannot click on. There we go. All right, thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Please answer the survey below. Question one, please tell us your gender. I'm gonna go with male for this one. Okay. Number two, please tell us your age. 20 or younger, 21 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, 35 to 40, 41 or older. Okay, so I am currently 26, so I'm going to say 25 to 29. Question three, please tell us your occupation. Student, regular employee, temporary employee, self-employed slash business owner. Yep, that's the answer. What kind of business? I'm going to keep that to myself for now, but you guys can feel free to make your guesses in the comments if you want to. Question 4. How often do you play Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? I have been playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle before the Clash X Unite Transcendent Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration began. They could have just said 6th Anniversary Celebration. I think people would have gotten the point. Uh, but anyways, that is indeed the answer. I think uh, we're coming up on five years now of playing this game. Because I did miss the first anniversary, but I started soon after that. So yeah, it's been almost five years, guys. Crazy for a mobile game. Like when I first started, I had no idea I was going to be playing for this long. But moving on, question five. Let's see, uh, was there enough content for the Clash X Unite Transcendent Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration? Uh, I mean, I think part 1 was pretty good. I think there was like a decent amount of stuff to do in part 1, but then there was a pretty big drop off in parts 2 and 3. And I did find, you know, like later on in the celebration, there was a lot of dead periods, a lot of dead time where there wasn't a lot to do. So I think they could have done better there. Although I am a bit of a rare case, right? Because I stream the content as soon as it comes out. So, you know, I pretty much finish everything on day one, which is not really the intention, right? So um, I'm going to just go with not enough. I'm not going to say not nearly enough, because that seems a little bit harsh, but not enough. Okay, they could have had a few more events maybe in parts two and three, or at least made it a little bit more even to part one. Okay, number six. Which events from the Clash X Unite Transcendent Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration did you like? More than one answer is possible. All right, so on top here, we have the two co-op campaigns. We have the story events, uh, Extreme Z area for the free-to-play units, Majin Buu's shape up training, Extreme Z battles for UI Goku, and Goku and Frieza, uh, Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, the special anniversary edition. That was kind of cool. Um, let's see. Oh, the God of Destruction event was amazing. I love that. And obviously, the 66 Special Summon and the uh, Tons of Thanks Ticket Summon. Oh, okay, so the first one is the Stone Summon, the other one is the Free Summon. Okay, so obviously, I'm gonna have to say I loved the free-to-play units. So the Extremes, the area was awesome. Uh, the Shape-Up Training was cool for the Skill Orbs. That was useful. Um, obviously, Extremes, the Battle. For the LR, Goku and Frieza, and UI Goku was dope. And uh, I do like the special edition virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clashes. I really, really like the God of Destruction event. And uh, I, I was not a huge fan of the stone banner for the guaranteed LR, but I did like the ticket banner. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that for sure. I mean, everybody has to choose that. Like, we want them to bring it back for sure. And uh, in terms of the co op campaigns, they were fine i wouldn't mind them coming back but uh i mean i can do without them honestly so 
I'm gonna still choose them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still select them. I'm, I'm always a, honestly like I was a fan of the anniversary. Don't get me wrong. I think that the events we did get were good, right? Um, it's just we could have maybe had a little bit more stuff. That's all I'm saying. Um, so I'm gonna check everything, yeah, except for the stone version of the guaranteed LR beta because it could have been cheaper. <laughs> I want it to be like 200 stones at most, okay, not 250. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna leave that unchecked but let's move on to question seven which events from the clash x unite transcendent dokkan 6th anniversary celebration didn't you like uh like i said nothing nothing in particular man like even the stone banner i didn't hate i just didn't love it could have been cheaper and maybe two guaranteed lrs <laughs> yeah maybe that's a bit too much but either way yeah that banner is is not my favorite Obviously, people have their opinions, so if you disagree, that's fine, but yeah, uh, I think they could just make it 200 stones each time, and I'd be more of a fan of it. Anyways, uh, yeah, nothing in particular, man. For this one, I'm going to say everything was fine. Um, you know, there was nothing really here that I had an issue with in particular, so yeah, let's move on. Question number eight. How satisfied were you with the 6th anniversary campaigns of the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle uh, campaigns? Oh, like the countdown campaign and the uh, actual anniversary. So, I'm gonna say not completely satisfied, but overall pretty satisfied. So I guess somewhat satisfied would be the answer here. If possible, please let us know in detail why you feel satisfied slash dissatisfied. Okay, so let's say the summonable units were good. Oh god, <laughs> were good. Uh, the events were also fine. We just could have used more events slash daily things to do in parts in arts man i can't type in parts two and three period summonable units were good the events were also fine we just could have used more events slash daily things to do in parts two and three. Oh. Also, please fix the friend system. <laughs> I know it's not related to the anniversary, but we just got to put that in there. Okay, next. Uh, did you participate in the social media campaigns launched during the 6th anniversary campaigns of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle uh, campaign countdown and also the actual anniversary okay so social media campaigns i know we had a lot of them um i think i did at least one maybe let's say yes not sure though oh crap okay if you replied yes which campaigns did you participate in more than one answer is possible uh twitter profile photo takeover campaign did not participate in that Whose revival do you want to see campaign? Nope. Super Shenron special missions. Uh, probably. I don't really remember, like actively participating. But didn't we just participate by playing the game? I'm not okay. I'm, I'm gonna say yes to that one, <laughs> just so I don't look as bad. Uh, let's see. Sixth anniversary PV Goku's RT slash share campaign didn't do that. Did not do that. Did not do this one either. Uh, did not do this one either. And I also didn't do this one. Okay, so I was pretty bad. Oh, oh, what's this? My Dokkan team campaign. Oh, I saw this one. People like shared the teams they were using or they were running the most or something like that. I also did not do that one. Okay, so I was pretty bad. Um, I apologize, guys. I did not contribute too much to the social media campaign stuff. But on the bright side, we did complete all of them. Okay, we got all our stones that we were supposed to get from these, so we're fine. We're fine. Next question. <laughs> I try to do them more, though. I feel bad. I feel bad. 
What is your main source of information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? More than one answer is uh, possible. Okay, so... Uh, you know, I do rely on the Twitter sometimes. Um, Facebook, not so much. Instagram, I see it sometimes, but Twitter is usually the place that I get, like, you know, most of the official information, like, from the official Dokkan page. Uh, let's see. The yeah, official Twitter of the Japanese version, yes, for sure. Uh, YouTube, including videos from influencers. Um, I mean, outside of my own videos, I don't really watch other Dokkan videos just because uh, it's too much Dokkan, you know? That's, that's just too much Dokkan uh, all the time. Um, and I don't really watch my own videos either, but I make the videos, so maybe that counts. <laughs> and uh, what else? Oh, Reddit, of course. Definitely Reddit. And I guess that's it. All right, next. How satisfied are you with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? Once again, I'm gonna say somewhat satisfied. Um, just because... Actually, hold on. If, if, if they're talking about the game overall, like not just the anniversary, the game overall, I don't want to say cannot decide because that's just too vague. Like, that's just useless. So I'm gonna say not very satisfied. And then we're going to point out a few things they could fix. Okay, so... Uh, friend system is uh, not good. <laughs> Hard to find friends for certain teams. Uh, world tournament is super boring and tedious. Tedious. Um, what else? Uh, explosive chain, wait, chain battle is random and boring. I don't, know, I don't know about boring, actually. Is random and confusing. Maybe I'm just dumb. People are going to call me dumb. It's okay, though. Uh, what else? Ah, <sighs> there's more, there's more. But I'm gonna just leave it at that, you know, we can't really address too many issues at once. Let's just start with those ones. And then, uh, hopefully, once they fix those, we can complain about some other stuff. Number 15, what new features would you like to see in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in the future? PvP. Especially if it favors whales. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what new features do I want to see? Ooh, more, oh, hold on, not more actually, just, just co-op, co-op events where we can challenge bosses with friends in real time, that would be sick, that's something I really want to see in Dokkan, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, I don't know if they have the, the budget, <laughs> what am I kidding man, they of course have the budget, they make so much money from this game, I just don't know if they want to do it. That's the question. Uh, please let us know if... Uh, oh, what Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle merchandise you'll like to see in the future? Merchandise? Um, I mean, like, high-quality posters would be cool for certain cards, right? Like, I, I wouldn't mind, like, a, you know, massive poster of, like, UI Goku or Blue Gogeta or something like that in, like, high quality. So, um, yeah, sure. HD posters. Uh, they already do the statues, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, I don't know. What kind of merchandise would I want? Cards, maybe? Like physical collectible cards? Sure, collectible cards. But you guys know I'm a sucker for that stuff, man. So, like, I'll probably buy it all up if they do it. Collectible cards, t shirts. Nah, you know what? I have too many t shirts. I have way too many shirts. I don't need that. Ah, merchandise, Dokkan merchandise. A hat. Um, um. Shades. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I have nothing else. I'm going to say posters, collectible cards. Those are probably things that I would actually buy. And, um, or maybe like statues or less popular units. 
voted by the community. Period. Next. Okay. How strongly would you recommend Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battles for someone who likes Dragon Ball? Uh... I mean, if they like Dragon Ball, they'll probably enjoy it. I mean, it's kind of confusing at this point, though. Like, it's a lot of stuff. So, like, 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 when you get this late into a game's life cycle, it can be very overwhelming, right? There's a lot of stuff going on. So, like, it might be hard for people to get in at this point. But it's definitely possible. So, I'm going to give it a 9. Like, not a strongly recommend, but, like, a fairly strong recommend. <laughs> I would strongly recommend Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle to someone who doesn't know or like Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's a zero, because there's no way they're going to get into it. <laughs> uh, are you currently playing any Dragon Ball games other than Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? Uh, Kekorot, yes. Um, Fighters a little bit these days, yeah. And... Yeah, that's it. That's all. If you have any, any other opinions, thoughts, messages to the operation team, please write them here. I'm going to be a little bit nice, man. Thank you for a great... Celebration. Um, there are still things, things that we need, that need. Oh my God! What am I doing? Why is it so hard? <laughs> things that need to be improved, but I enjoyed it overall. Uh, happy. What's my happy face? The regular happy face. Mmm, dude, I'm just looking for like a smile. Oh, there we go. Okay, smile. Confirm. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. That is a survey. It took us a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but you know what? I give it a lot of thought. I give it a lot of thought. Okay, so that's why. It took me probably much longer than it's going to take you guys. Uh, there we go. Register. And we're done. All right. Rewards claimed successfully. Please claim the rewards from the gift box. Oh. Hold up. They didn't even ask me for like a... They didn't... Wow. That's crazy. Hold on. Wait. Wait. One sec. One sec. Do people get this even if they don't actually do the survey? Because how else do they know that I completed the survey without like giving them my code, you know, like my my uh my ID. Somebody could yo, somebody let me know in the comments, man. Okay, if you if you click on the survey link and you don't do the actual survey, you still get the stones? Because if that's the case, I feel kinda kinda scammed. <laughs> Well, you know what? It was it was pretty fun, nonetheless. Okay, so I, I don't I don't mind too much. I'm just saying, like, you could potentially just spare yourself the effort and, um, you know, get the stones anyways. Oh, what's this? We got five more things. Oh, 200k followers. Nice. 20 stones? Whoa. What was that? Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say anything here. I saw something about reaching 200k followers, but I didn't... I think we're getting 20 stones. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, that is today's video. It's going on for way too long, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, fill out your surveys, or maybe don't, if you don't have to. Who knows? My phone is so close to dying, but that's okay. We're out of here, guys. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.